and you'll see the individual little bolt detail, which is very fine. It's all very clean. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns, and I'm gonna be looking closely at the Copper State Models Minerva, which came out uh, recently. So Copper State is a Latvian company, and they've been concentrating on a lot of uh, World War I aircraft, and then particularly, they've been releasing quite a few uh, World War I armored cars. Now, in World War I, they didn't actually have tanks as yet. They started um, developing later during the war, and a majority of the stuff were armored cars, which were built on real road-going cars. So this is a Minerva, which was, um, uh, a road car and um, it was converted into an armored car. So let's have a closer look inside. Now they always have the very nice box art. And when we open it up, it's got a fully sealed box. Really helpful because Latvia is far away and they ship through and always in very good condition when they arrive. Okay, so the first thing you notice is the, uh, the big manual. See how thick it is. And we'll have a closer look at that at the end. So we'll have a look at all the uh, reference materials. Okay, first thing we'll see are the, the wired wheels. So the wired wheels are, are molded in um, injection molded plastic. They're actually really, really nice and fine. Now, some uh, people would prefer uh, photo wedge, but I don't like photo wedge so much because they tend to look flat. And these have a, a better rounded um, a profile to them. So they're very nice. Over here, we've got the, uh, a duplicate of two sprues. So this has got um, uh, the headlights in it and um, other supports and uh, uh, these will be the covers for the uh, armoured panels on the front. This sprue here has got a, a variety of uh, machine guns to choose from. So you've got two different machine guns. I'm not really sure which is which. This looks a bit like a Vickers. And there's different uh, machine gun shields. Uh, this here we've got the, uh, uh, I guess you call that the tower for supporting the machine gun. And then you've got uh, the gear um, levers and the steering wheel. This part here shows off all the uh, the finer detail that's included. So it has the uh, a full interior and engine detail. So also you can see the rails for the chassis. And you've got the, uh, the springs, the leaf springs for the suspension. So here you've got the engine blocks and then engine heads over here. You've got the radiator, and you've got the front of the, uh, 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 the radiator cover. This looks like the gearbox housing there. Okay, and then here, whoops, get to these clear bits in a sec. Okay, so you've got larger bits here. Okay, so this is the bulk of the, uh, uh, the armored car. You've got your side panels right here, and you'll see the individual little bolt detail, which is very fine. you notice that on all these sprues, there's no um, um, flashing. It's all very clean. You've got your um, the floorboard here. Uh, you've got all your fenders, left and right. And then you've got all the side panels and the doors for the back. These are the rear uh, uh, mud flaps. So all in all, it's a, a decent sized um, car. Just on this side, you can see the internal bracing for the armored panels. Okay, so here you've got a couple of um, clear bits. You've got clear bits for the headlights and for the spotlight. Just see, them, molded in uh, clear polystyrene. And then you've got a sheet of decals. So actually, that's upside down. So Minerva was a, uh, a Belgian car. So you've got Belgian markings. And then as well, there's some German markings for captured vehicles as well. And a variety of different... Uh, registration type decals and they were printed by Cartograph so Cartograph are the, the best uh, decal printers and they're based in Italy okay let's have a quick look at this manual so all of the uh, Copset manuals are, are very retro in look they've got this um, uh, textured um, thick paper uh, covering as you open it up you'll see all these reference and history and when you look through it, even though a lot of our research is done on the web these days, you find that a lot of these photos here aren't available on the internet. So they're definitely helpful on uh, giving you a, a breakdown of how these vehicles were used and some finer details of the shapes and uh, different equipment inside. You can see some of these are just, just amazing. 
so it gives you a good idea of wear and tear um, and just how they were used with uh, the crew inside so here we go with the actual building of the kit you've got uh, listings of all the parts that I've already had a closer look at and then you also have all these paint chart here that's quite handy it's all numbered so as you go along you'll be able to work out which color goes where and here you see the very clear instructions which are a, a CAD exploded type so obviously you start with the gearboxes you build the, rail, uh, uh, the, the size of the, uh, the rails for the chassis building of the engine all the finer details mounting of the engine building up of the suspension interior work here with the, uh, the steering column uh, gear levers rear um, uh, differential gets closer into building up the interior here with the um, armored walls and then we're going towards all the final details you've got the back section with a spare tire and then we've got the mounting of the machine gun in the center fixing the fenders here's your headlights here and then your machine gun here uh, we've got the uh, the bigger spotlight Oh, that's the other machine gun. So it had two machine guns. There you go. You'll learn stuff from you. Um, building up of the wheels. So the wheels are two part. So you get that uh, the multi faceted uh, spoke look. You got the uh, starting crank there, and then final assembly with the uh, the radiator, and then the application of the decals for the different versions. So you got the version here. So we've got, we've got multiple versions. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's where the confusion's coming from. So there's the different. So that's a Maxim machine gun. So that's on the German version. They've changed the machine gun over when they've uh, captured the vehicle. And here you go. You've got some uh, pictures of an actual uh, reconstruction maneuver. So you can see there. That's a very um, comprehensive uh, model, and uh, that's a look of the um, inside of the Cop State uh, maneuver kit.